What's up everybody, it's Goal 60 here for Saturday, May the 4th, 2019. So yesterday was a pretty decent day. Revenge Place had a really good day. They go 2-0. and RPI plays go 4-4. Four and four. And the uh, over-under system, system did see a little bit of a you know setback yesterday. It didn't do as well as it's been doing in the past few days. But I look forward to turn today. So with that said, we'll get into all that plus what we got going on today starting now. So like I said, yesterday the two revenge plays we had with Seattle on the run line and Kansas City on the run line. We won both. It came down to the ninth inning for us to win both. In the uh, Kansas City game, we were down 4-2 going to the top of the ninth. We needed to have at least one run. They did hit a solo home run to get us the win. And we, even though Kansas City lost 4-3, we were on the run line plus one and a half. So therefore, we got the win there. Same thing happened as far as us having the run line in the Seattle game. Cleveland was tied with Seattle 1-1 going into the ninth. And uh, Seattle actually had a chance to get a run and just could not finish it, left people stranded. But then in the bottom of the ninth, they allow two runners to get on and a single allow one runner to get in and Cleveland win the game. So even though both of those teams that we were on did lose the game, that's why we take the run line in these situations that's why when they're the underdog we look to take the run line and it did pay off for us yesterday with both of those winning now we'll talk about the rpi and talk about everything that's going on there for today so today we've still got the four games going because rpi system did go four and four yesterday so we got four b bets to go today and uh, we had a chance on a few of these to actually get a win late in the game in fact um Texas was tied up 0-0 through 12 innings, or through 11 innings, and then in the 12th, gave up a run in the top of the 12th. Got out of a jam, and I thought they had a chance and just couldn't get the bats going in the bottom of the 12th. Hopefully today they bounce back and get a win against Toronto and uh, get us that B-bat win. Uh, same thing with Minnesota, kind of, but except they had a shot at it at the end to get us to play against the Yankees. They played terrible the most of the game, and then really got it started in the 8th and ninth inning. Put up a few runs, and they had a shot in the ninth inning to get a couple runs in and uh, get us that run line win, but couldn't do it, and therefore lose 6-3, to three, force us into a B bet. Now today, Minnesota is also going to be on the run line. So Texas is going to be on the money line. Minnesota is on the run line. We actually pick up a run line play that was a favorite yesterday in St. Louis, St. Louis didn't play well at all yesterday. Now, I know they were playing off of short rest. I think they ended up having just a you know 16 hours worth of rest between traveling and everything to go to Chicago. So hopefully they can get it going today and get, uh, get back on the winning side of things. Today they're an underdog to Chicago, so therefore we pick up that run line. And it is expensive. It's in the, I believe, around minus 175, somewhere in that range. So hopefully they can keep it with them one today or get the win. They are the better team here. They just need to take control of this rivalry and get the win. And last, we have Oakland and Pittsburgh. Not a lot to say about yesterday's performance by Pittsburgh. They come out and take a one nothing lead after one, and then it was all downhill from there. They gave up 14 runs the rest of the way, most of them coming in the, first, in the next three innings, the second through the fourth. And... Uh, you know, today they've just got to bounce back. I've seen it happen before where we gave up a lot of runs and the next day we bounce back. We need that to happen here. So Pittsburgh is a pick em currently. So taking Pittsburgh again, obviously, and looking to win that game outright. That's it for today. That's all four of those for RPI. Now let's talk about the over-unders and see how it went and what we got looking forward to today. So this over-under system that we're testing currently right now you know, it had nine plays going yesterday, and unfortunately only cashed two of them. So there are several B-bets going today, but I look forward to turning around. You know, yesterday was a big, you know, travel day for a lot of folks. They got there where they were playing. A lot of series started up yesterday, so they weren't really in the in the flow of things. So hopefully they can change that today. The first one is, uh, the first two actually are those revenge games. Kansas City and Detroit need to go over 8.5. So do Seattle and Cleveland. They both need to go over 8.5. The next one is Tampa Bay and Baltimore. Now, this one uh, does not have a line posted currently. I can't find one anywhere yet. And um, 
just waiting for that one to come out, but we will be looking to take the over. Yesterday, Tampa Bay did everything by themselves. They win the game 7-0, to zero, and uh, hopefully today they can put up several runs, and also Baltimore put up some runs. Uh, Tampa Bay's best pitcher was going yesterday, and it wasn't Snell. It was another guy who has really been playing well this year. So he was lights out once again. After that, we got Washington and Philly. Yesterday, there were six runs scored in that game. And today, we need them to go over eight and a half. Seattle and Chicago, or excuse me, St. Louis and Chicago, we need them over eight and a half. Atlanta and Miami, we need them under seven and a half. And San Francisco and Cincinnati, we need them under nine. And yesterday, that was a crazy game. At one point, San Francisco was down eight to nothing after three innings and came back and win that game 12 to 11 in extras. So that was a heck of a game as far as a lot of fun to watch. Was not so good for us on the under. Like I said, hopefully all those can get it turned around today. We've got the four RPI plays with St. Louis, uh, Texas, Pittsburgh, and Minnesota. And we're watching these seven games on the over-under system. No revenge plays because they did go 2-0 yesterday. And that's all I've got. I hope you have a great Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time.